What's up everyone, this is Tozo bringing you a short video that I wanted to make about one of my favorite features in Animal Crossing, the stock market. The stock market is a play on words used for describing the turnip sales that take place every week from the new character Daisy May, who is the granddaughter of Joan, who sold turnips in all of the previous Animal Crossing games. I wanted to make this video to explain what it does and how you can use it to make millions of bells in minutes without glitches or cheating. Daisy May shows up on your island from 5am to 12pm every Sunday selling turnips from a price range of about 90 bells to 110 bells. If Daisy is offering you turnips for a price in the lower 90s, definitely buy some. In fact, I recommend you buy some every week, because the stock market is like an investment in stock in the real world, and you want to buy turnips at a low price and hang on to them until they are worth a lot of bells, and then sell them. The catch here is that they spoil after a week and become useless. Now, to get into the money making part, Tommy and Timmy will offer a price per turnip at their shop that changes every single day. The price ranges from about 15 bells per turnip all the way up to 800. A turnip price above 400 is very rare, as they will usually sell from about 50 to 150 for most players throughout the week. The turnip prices change in your Nook's cranny shop every day for each player, so the chance of you getting a really high turnip price over the next 6 days is only decent. Note that you only have 6 days to sell because you cannot sell on Sunday since that's the same day that you buy them. So how do you make millions in minutes? It's simple really, you just have to greatly increase your luck. For some reason, the game allows you to sell your turnips in other people's islands using their turnip sell price. This allows for any one person in the entire Animal Crossing community to say that they have high turnip prices for that day and share the profits with friends or even random people. For example, my friend yesterday had a very rare turnip price of 642 bells per turnip, which is ridiculously high almost multiplying my profits by 7 since I was buying turnips for 93 bells that week. The crazy part about this is that it's just part of the game, and it always has been. Of course, a trick like this can easily be abused where you time travel to Sunday and just keep selling turnips while somebody else's island stays on the day with a high price. However, this could technically happen either way without time traveling as well due to time zones. Also, keep in mind that turnips are sold in packs of 10, so every time you fill up a full 4 row inventory with turnips, you are holding 4,000 turnips. To quickly buy the max turnips, you can calculate how much money you need and it will automatically fill your pockets. For example, if Daisy is selling turnips for under 100 bells, then it will cost 400,000 bells or less to fill your pockets. On my friend's island that was selling for 642 bells, each full inventory sold of turnips was worth over 2.5 million bells. Now of course, finding people with high turnip prices can be hard. I would say the best way is to look up the Animal Crossing Discord server on Google and join it. They have a stock market chat where hundreds of players post high turnip prices every day. If you don't want to go about that method, you could always just roll with your chances in your island or your friend's island. Islands. Definitely don't worry about losing money because you can almost always make profit even on your own town at least one day per week. To make even more money without time traveling, you can purchase tons of turnips and then leave them on the ground to stock up so you don't have to buy just 4,000. Note, if you do plan to time travel, do not go back in time when you have turnips because they will immediately spoil. If you plan to go on the route of finding someone with high turnip prices, they will most likely ask for interest on your sale since you are making so much money from their island. However, it only makes sense since they can't buy any turnips, but you're coming in with thousands of them. I think it's hilarious and fun to be quite honest, but it still baffles me that they left this feature in the game. You can make millions of bells without time traveling and just playing the game how it is. Just be sure to be smart about it and remember to sell them and do not time travel backwards. I hope you all enjoyed the guide, so please like and subscribe for a lot more Animal Crossing guides and tips coming very soon. With the way we do things here on this channel, I promise you will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching everyone. Peace.